We'll walk around. I wanna see some tigers. Walk around. I wanna see some tigers and some peas. I really wanna hear some squeaks. Walk round the compound. Hi. Hi. Oh, hello. Hey, baby girl. Hey, sugar pie. Hey, sugar pie. Hi. Hey, holding up. It's a little warm out. A little bit. Not ghastly, but enough. Warm enough. Hello all of you big cat lovers out there, it's me Derek again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hi. Hi. Oh. Now for another exciting episode of this Linksy house. Just, it is, really is her favorite thing. Just being in boxes. She just loves it. Just loves it. Looks like we have another one. Looks like we have another one too. Discovered the fine art of a uh, box. <laughs> She's just doing some uh, doing some redecorating. Hi, Ruby. Okay. Selena has been one of the harder kitties to pin down as to her whereabouts. And there's been a couple times, even just in the last few days, where I'm like, okay, I don't see her inside the enclosure. And then I go all the way around and then I look inside. And then she's not inside, meaning that she got up and left. And then I come back out, and then she's like, oh, hey. <laughs> and it's like, come on. Um, temperature is, I think it was mid-upper 90s today. We were supposed to be getting into triple digits this weekend. But then, kind of got pulled back at the last little bit. So, meaning, if you're looking at, oh, what's the forecast say Wednesday, Thursday? It's like, oh man, we're going to be getting up into the hundreds. 
we're going to be getting up into the hundreds by by Sunday. And then you start looking at things Friday, Saturday, and it's like, actually, we're kind of, we're, we're bringing it back. Wind's going to be a little bit different. The clouds are going to be a little bit different. There might be a little bit of rain in the area, cooling things down. But that's like not an uncommon thing, especially during this time of year. Where it says like, ah, we're going to get hot. And then it might kind of like just shave off the top edge. Which, you know, I'm thankful for. Because I got to say, being out outside when it's like just in the 90s, even upper 90s. It's different than being outside working in the hundreds. I don't, I can't quite explain it. It just is. <laughs> it just is. Maybe that's also why Fahrenheit was developed. Maybe that's why Fahrenheit was developed to be what it is. Because that the the Fahrenheit scale is more of a relative. Like, hey. As it, as it relates to human comfort. Hi. Hello. Hey, pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. You're looking, you're looking good. Yeah. She's pretty girl. She's pretty girl. She's beat a girl. Beatty, beatty, beatty. Beatty, beatty, beatty. Beatty, 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 beatty. Beatty, 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 beatty. Beatty, 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 Lucky that you're still here. Yeah, because you're old. You are old, old, old. Whoa. Where did you come from? When did you get in here? Hmm? Did you hear voice? I, he's like, I heard voices. I wanted to come in and say hello. And then she's just like, well, <laughs> well, I see how it is. I see how it is. Hmm. I'm sorry, baby. I have to say hi to all the, all the kitties. I gotta say hi to all the kitties. Yeah, no, you too. Yeah, you too. You too. Okay. Thunderstorms over there. Not over here. Man, the glare on my phone. It says it's, and I just tried to adjust the settings just now. Can't set them up any higher. It says adjusted max settings for brightest the light, for best viewing in the bright light. And I'm like, why? <laughs> I guess it's also because of where this, you know, neon thing and it, it, it's like the sun is right there. So it's, it's coming and it's just bouncing off my shirt and just hitting my phone screen. And then I'm sitting there just like looking, looking at my, looking at my phone and just being like, what is going on? 
where am I even going? Because I use my phone to navigate. I don't, I don't look out at the world. So if I can't see what's happening on my phone, then, um, you know, I get lost. Uh, hey. Hey. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> That's like sometimes you have to do that, you do that kind of slow approach. And it's like, you're either going to like do a pouncy thing. Actually, no, you're most likely going to do a pouncy thing. And then sometimes you'll do a snuffle thing. And I'm just talking about munch specifically. Munch specifically. No, I know. I know. It's hot. It's hot. It's verm. Two. Look at these two patooties. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh. I. There was three. There was three patooties in there. You gotta be kidding me. There was three patooties. Three but pat Did you see? So then there's the. Usually, Cheese and Luna. Usually Cheese and Luna are just in there. They've been spending more time together, Cheese and Luna. But then, Little Miss Juno. Hi, I see you. Yes. Was in there too? My gosh, mind blown. Mind blown. Look, he's still up at the house. We're worried about his, uh... We're worried about his long-term vision. That, um... It's like, we we went and had him, you know, have a surgery to correct his, you know, issues. Because he had been having problems seeing. We did the procedure to help with his eyelid. So then it helped with his irritation. It seemed to, like, actually help with his ability. But it didn't, like, his... His apparent vision issues are still present. So then now we're thinking like, well, does he actually have stuff going on with his eyes and his eyesight? So. I don't know. Hey, Goops. He came out of the thing and she's like, Ugh. Yeah, big thing. Nice big old storm storm head. It's good to stay hydrated. I'm a little kind of little floaty, little floaty, little spacey. Because I've actually been getting sleep. I've actually been getting sleep. And not just like the last like day or two. It's actually been like the last like four or five. Wild stuff. And uh I'm gonna laugh. Because I know this is like currently, I, every time I say this to people, I didn't realize that this was a TikTok trend. I thought that this was something that I've, I've read about for like, I'm, you know, biohacker subreddits and, uh, and like YouTube and stuff. And then like I tell people like, oh, I'm doing this thing. And they're like, oh yeah, I've been seeing like some of this stuff on like glamour TikToks. And I'm just like, that's not where I got it from, but okay. <laughs> but yeah, mouth. I've been doing mouth taping. 
when I'm uh, when I'm going to bed, which is is pretty simple. It's like take a piece of athletic tape and just and just put it over your mouth. And keep your mouth shut so that you breathe through your nose. I snore. I snore a lot to the point where I'm I'm not always like breathing. And I do it pretty cons like lot, not not all the time, but pretty regularly. Hi. So then the quality of my sleep is just which then just affects everything. It affects my body recovery, my mood, my you know, my ability to focus throughout the day, get stuff done. So I'm like, you know what, I've been reading about this stuff. And I think that that was the first time. I, it was a, it was a, it was the r slash biohackers subreddit. Because I was looking for different things to like, hey, help, help with like snoring. Are there any, are there any things that people do to help with snoring? I'm like, oh, there's this mouth taping business. And that's kind of like, okay. Let me, let me mull it over for a year and then I'll try it out. <laughs> Hi. But it's like, it's like one of those things, uh... Heidi came to, she came to visit, which, you know, she doesn't always have the opportunity to, but she actually drove to me for once instead of me driving to her, stayed with me for a couple days, and then she was basically, you know, she's like, look, hon, I love you, but holy crap, like, you, you're, you're, and that, this is the thing, people are like, well, you should get a sleep, I, I've actually done two, I've done two sleep studies, but for some reason I just wasn't, I wasn't snoring in the way, and like, there was one where it's like they just woke me up and they said like, okay, we got all the data we need. You're good. You don't have that. And they just like send me, they just sent me away. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, do I, I'm not going to stay here throughout the evening. They're like, nope. I'm like, okay. Hi. Lucky to have you around too. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, we're gonna... Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You guys see what I'm seeing? Do you guys see this? Cute kitty. There's cute kitty stuff happening. I don't know if you realize the magnitude. But it's uh, it's actually been I know it's been helping because um, I don't always sleep the best in my apartment when I'm not here, and I'm not here like more days out of the week, and it sucks because it's like I'm I, I go back to my apartment I'm away from you know home family support structure all that stuff and I don't so and there's actually some science to that where uh, I kind of goes back to caveman times where if you're kind of staying in an unfamiliar cave. Your your body and brain know to be a little bit more on alert. So, yeah. So then I, I actually started doing the mouth taping stuff while I was there at my apartment. And then I went, I slept all night, had dream sleep. Like, I actually woke up feeling like, oh my gosh, I, I actually feel like I've gone and entered into, like, deep deep sleep or REM sleep, dream sleep, body recovery sleep, which, like, almost never happens when I'm not home. So then, you know, you have, like, four or five days of you're not sleeping that great, and then I get home here and just crash hard. 
that's how it's been for for the past few years. Get back home and I'm just yeah. I my brain didn't work so good. Butterflies. Look at them butterflies doing their thing. Moths? I don't know. Anyway, time yakking about stuff that doesn't really matter. Thanks for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound Webcast. Hashtag Dorbus Award in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for all of your big cat goodness. And if you want to learn more about the facility around me, you can always visit the website carerescuetexas.com for more information. You keep them tigers fed. Big shout out to the extra fancy patrons. I see you. You are so fancy. And thank you so much for your continued support. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, there's a cat, cat that loves to squeak. Oh, there's a cat, 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 cat. Oh, there are cats, cats with cute little feet. Oh, there are cats, cat, cat, cat. Oh, there are cats with stripes. And there are cats with manes. So let's watch as Eric walks around the compound tonight. Yeah.